Aries, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Aries, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot, and stay tuned till the end of your reading, who will use oracle cards and pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. Wow, so right now you got the world lover's card. Your angels are telling you that they are bringing you closer to someone that you may know from a previous lifetime and you signed the contract with them to come to the fifth dimension and to meet right here, right now. It's divine timing. And right now you've both gone through your own experiences, your ups and downs. You know what you want and what you don't want. Adversity has introduced Introduced you both to who you are and now you're supposed to take that knowledge of wisdom that you've accumulated and bring it together and right now source is telling you positive vibrations attract positive lives right what that really means is you are not waiting for this to happen the universe is waiting to bring you guys together your, your spirit guides are waiting to bring you together all you gotta remember is you always manifest who you are not what you want and that's why it's so important lizard spirit to dream the world into being your energy flows where your attention goes when your attention is being brought and and, and, and being put into yourself like for example you are investing in yourself spiritually meditating when you're investing in yourself physically going for a walk you're investing in yourself financially taking a course even like a 20 dollars course on udemy.com u-d-e-m-y.com i don't have affiliate links i don't get paid by them they just have high quality courses whether it's reiki energy whether it's you know day trading whether it's amazon anything you want go on udemy.com take a course what you're doing is that you're investing in yourself your, your awareness your energy is going towards yourself and now what is that doing that is letting your angels and guides know i am ready to manifest who i am and that's what's going on here two of cups six of wands you're close to victory and right now your angels are telling you your mindset determines your destiny with this mindset you're opening the doors to abundance every single time you're letting your angels and guides know please bring this person in my life because it will be a smash hit i am ready and dolphin spirit this and that are true whatever you think is true it is right the law of attraction states it does not care if something is real or fake placebo effect it only cares if you think it's real so if you think it is time because you are confident because you're instilling all these awesome you know all this awareness onto yourself it will happen now look at this you also have the five of wands which is very interesting and the five of swords both five synchronicities take a look at both these cards right now your angels are telling you that you're putting too much pressure on yourself and it's causing resistance remember your energy introduces you to the world before you even speak so when you're being hard on yourself your business card is saying not approachable not likable not the right time so right now your angels are telling you that it's essential that you really watch your words watch how you speak to yourself your mind is always eavesdropping on what you have to say and i'll give an example before i leave my house there's a mirror right in front of my door i'm sure a lot of you have a mirror there you check out your clothes check out whatever it is your shoes your hat now before i walk out i look in the mirror i look at myself in the eyes and i say three i am affirmations i'll say something like i am confident i am positive i am charming or i am sexy i am you know patient i am you know a, a, a high frequency being anything but the word i am are the most powerful words in the universe and on top of that saying this right before i leave my house tell let me tell you like you want a jolt of power this is it and this right here will help you fox spirit think on your feet trust your intuition right your thoughts are the keys to the doors of your success right so right now your angels are telling you use this to your benefit what the things you don't want to say is i am scared i am lonely i don't know what to do none of that because everything it's every time you say something you're casting a spell and that's why the universe is telling you right now it's essential for you to be strategic with your energy two of wands justice card letting you know that the moment that you are controlling your thoughts controlling your ideas you will be conquering your world right conquering your world invest in yourself now you also have the ten of swords and the nine of swords another synchronicity this is a warning guy warning sign from your angels and guides telling you right now that something in your life has to stop right you have to audit a relationship or audit a belief and you can tell what this is because when you think of it it's almost like you're holding your breath you're like uh oh 
I don't like thinking of this. I'll give you an example. Breathe in, breathe out. Ah, feels good. That holds your breath. Huh, doesn't feel good. Why? Because holding your breath is out of alignment with what you're supposed to do. So anytime you're holding your breath, you're sitting still, you're in fear, you tend not to move. So whenever you have a thought of someone and they make you kind of tense up, you know that relationship needs to get audited. Or whenever you're thinking of a situation and all of a sudden you freeze, you know something needs to happen. So right now, your angels are telling you, whale spirit, trust the great mystery. And right now, anytime you think of someone and you feel cool, calm, and relaxed, that is your angels and guides through your intuition telling you this is fantastic. You know, continue on with this energy. This is your the warning sign in a good way saying this is good. But right now, there's definitely a, a, a energy that has to get audited because there's some sort of money block here that has to get cleared, right? There's some sort of energy that you're holding on to that's causing resistance. And what you focus on expands and what you breathe life into expands. So right now, so source is telling you that when you are thinking of something and you're burying that shadow, that shadow like a zombie will work its way up at the worst time possible. So imagine you are resisting love. Imagine like you are telling yourself, I am unlucky when it comes to love. That unlucky when it comes to love mind state, that actually quantum entangles with money with health, right? So when you resist love, you resist money. When you resist money, you resist health, social life. So there could be no resistance anywhere, right? Go with the flow. Understand everything that happens, happens for a reason. Your angels are telling you to squirrel spirit, believe in yourself, and understand it was meant for you to collect data. It's called contrast. For example, joy wouldn't be so good if it wasn't for pain. Now, we don't want to feel pain for long. We just want to know what it is for a quick second and then to be able to move on. For example, hot, if you touch something hot, Hot, it's necessary so you know what cold is. Without that, you, would only, you wouldn't even know how to tell the difference. But here's the thing, when you touch something hot, you don't want to hold it. Ah, you just want to be like, uh oh, hot, never do that again. And that's what's going on here. You collect the data, you know what you want and what you don't want, what works and what doesn't. And now using that data, turning knowledge into wisdom is the next step. And you got the hermit, the page of wands, and this is your spirit guides telling you to take the leap of faith, don't hesitate to procrastinate, understand that going on this journey that you're about to embark on is going to bring wealth into your life, it's gonna bring love into your life, it's gonna bring happiness into your life. You're going to be able to finally have you and your inner being connected, and you guys are gonna be unstoppable. And also to know, you know, otter spirit, you are never alone, that your angels and guides have your back, they're here for you. Just because you can't see something does not mean it's not real. Can you see text messages? There's millions of them going before your eyes. Can you see oxygen? You're breathing it in. Can you see gravity? So don't worry about what your eyes can see. Like Nikola Tesla said it best. He goes, in order to know the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, vibrations, not stuff you can hold in your hand, right? Don't worry about that. All right, now, Aries, let's get to your affirmation and bring some money and love into your life. I want you to write down the following words exactly as shown on the card, and I want you to write down in the comment section what you're doing is quantum entangling with this energy, and you're telling your angels and guides, I fully am aware of this lesson, bring me new opportunities. So write this down in the comment section right now. There is a purpose to my pain. Write that down right now in the comment section. There is a purpose to my pain. What does this mean? This means that you understand that adversity introduces you to who you are. Diamonds are built under pressure. And whatever you've gone through before in the past is so you accumulate data, their lessons. It is necessary. You would, you're way better off you know, experiencing pain for, uh, back then than you are in the future, right? So be grateful and thankful. There is a purpose to my pain, write that down in the comment section. Let your angels and guides know you are ready, you are aware of this lesson, you don't need to get stuck here, bring me new possibilities, right? I don't need to go you know, watch the same old rerun, rerun, bring me a new opportunity because I'm acknowledging this. All right, now final message from your spirit guides. Let's see what your spirit guides want you to know. You have what it takes, that's their message and you sure do. Right now your spirit guides say, always follow your heart unless it's been broken, then you must lead it back into love. P.S. Did you know that hearts are never too big to mend, too small to rebound, or too tired to love again? You're being told right now, we have our ups and downs. Don't give up, right? Don't feel like something happened and it was there to hurt you. It was there for you, right? Again, what was the lesson in the situation? If you ever want a clear energy, that's all you have to ask yourself. You dated someone, you know, rather than be like, I wasted a year, tell yourself, what will I 
keep from this? What is negotiable next time? What is non-negotiable? Like for example, before I dated my wife, Alicia, I came out of a five-year relationship. I got taught how to be a man, what to do, what not to do. You know, how to treat a woman, how not to treat a woman. And that helped me develop into the beautiful relationship I have with my wife. That's the same thing here. Collect data and you'll be able to bring in abundance. All right, Aries, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.